All right, parents, guardians, I know you love your kids, but I just want you to know it's okay to celebrate the start of school. It's okay to be happy that they have some place to go during the day to learn. You know, we've been doing a bunch of stories to help get us in the back to school mindset, but today's report, it's for everyone. What do you think the most common complaint would be from a school bus driver? Okay, well, whether you drive a car or you simply walk to get around, we all need to know how to navigate around school buses. I met up with Theo White, a bus dispatcher in the Highline School District, district to get his take. What do they call that? Crossing arm. A crossing arm, and so it's designed to... So from that angle of the bus, if a student about this tall tries to cross in front of the bus, the driver won't see him they'll disappear as soon as they come. So this extends about two feet and allows the driver to be able to see the student with the crossing crossover mirrors. But yeah, I was noticing this bus has things that I didn't see on school buses when I was a kid. Right, we have more mirrors actually. We have seven total mirrors it's for the driver to view as far as children inside the bus, cars around the bus. And you also have cameras on some buses. We have stop paddle cameras. It captures a full video, so it's just like a red light camera. So once this paddle is out, and it's flashing red both front and back, then this camera is taking snapshot pictures of any license plates that drive by. And you have another camera in the back. So we have a rear facing camera that views the whole front of the bus. So the whole action that's happening from back forward. What would you say are some of the biggest things that people do that we shouldn't be doing? Inattentive driving. A lot of times people have their earbuds in their ears, headphones on, um, not being cautionary to everybody around them. So as far as boarding the bus and deboarding the bus, we have handrails. Okay. Please use these. It gets slippery when it rains. We are in a rainy city. Yeah, so you've had some kids fall just from not using the handrail. Absolutely. Well, look, I have to say, I we, people are always talking about why don't we have seat belts on school buses? And then you just told me some things I didn't know. Yes, there are foams that's wrapped around the seats. So there's crash barriers. So if there is an accident, with you sitting properly, you'll have less chance of getting hurt versus sitting improperly in the aisle way, which getting hit against foam is better than getting hit against the floor or metal posts that are holding the seats. That stop sign goes out. Do people on both sides have to stop or just on one side? So it depends on the street. Is a good rule of thumb perhaps if we see the stop sign, regardless of what side of the street, to stop? Yes, be safe and be cautious. Stop, yield, slow down. You wanna do all these things to be vigilant so that students know and other drivers know that, hey, we can't go because there's red lights black. Yeah, that's what we always want to know, right? When do we stop? And he said it depends on if there's a median in between or if it's two lane or three lane or three lane. And I'm like, okay, if I'm driving, I don't know if I'm going to remember that. So that's why we said, you know what, the bottom line, if you see a school bus stopped and you see the stop sign, I know we're in a hurry and we no, have to matter. be somewhere. We don't want to be matter. late. At any moment, a kid could pop out and you just don't want that. You know, we show stories every year about kids getting hit by cars going past the stop sign. I mean, I would not mind if someone came out with an invention that every time that stop sign would come out, you throw spike strips out next to it to make sure the cars stop. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, how many times do we see kids getting hurt mm -hmm. all the time? It's like, man, all you have to do is stop. There's enough lights to get, bring your attention yeah. to and that stop sign. And that's why they have those cameras on there, so you'll get a ticket. He said the ticket can be up to 400 bucks. Yeah, but a so. ticket versus hurting a child. Oh no, I get no, I'm just saying no, the spike, I know, I know, we haven't gone so far as spike trips, but I think they're hoping that the cameras will maybe cut down on that. So you're being watched. Exactly. And either way, that was an amazing segment. Oh. A lot thank of questions you. I had too. I know, I learned a lot.